The old wolf wasn't fond of angry villagers, especially ones with sticks. So he limped down to a nearby stream. Kids, hmm, always playing tricks on old folks and old wolves. He groaned as he soaked his feet, his tired feet. Before long, the boy's cry came again. Wolf, wolf, the wolf is taking the goats. Another wolf is taking those tasty goats? The old wolf couldn't stand the thought and quickly hobbled back to the meadow. Off he goes to the meadow. The villagers were already there, huffing and puffing from running up the hill. Where's the wolf? Are the goats okay? The villagers gasped. What wolf? The boy laughed. From behind a tree, the old wolf watched the villagers stagger back down the hill. There's got to be a way to get one of those scrumptious goats from that trickster, he thought. Perhaps through a trick of my own. So now the wolf is ready to play a trick on the boy. The old wolf sat down to work out a plan and was soon snoring away and dreaming of mushu goat and double goat dumplings. Wolf! Wolf! The boy yelled out again. Arr! I can't even enjoy the goats in my dreams. That boy is worse than weeds, the old wolf growled. He stretched his aching legs and went into and went once more went to the meadow once more. Alright, so now the wolf has decided to do what to get some food. So remember, the problem is that the wolf is hungry. He went to see if the person was willing to share, but he wasn't. He was just playing tricks on the villagers. So now what has the wolf decided to do? To try to get some food. Food meaning eat one of those goats. So he has decided to play a trick, right? So the wolf, remember no writing while I am, decides to play a trick on the boy so now he's gonna play the trick okay so go ahead and pause it and get what's on my paper on yours